Hey guys, hey, 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 it's Harold, the Internet Guy. This is After the Bell Weekend Edition, man. It's Sunday, January the 30th. We are 30 days into the new year. It is Inspirational Sunday, and I'm super excited. Let me see if I got my stuff right here. I'm going to make it straight. I'm super excited about going into Monday, man. Monday, Monday, Monday. Um, this is After the Bell Weekend Edition. Uh, hopefully my lights are straight. You can see me. I'm not going dark, not going light. Everybody can understand me and hear me clearly. Guys, this is after the bell weekend edition and um, we're going to be talking about a lot of things one of the things we want to talk about is coins uh, tonic we talked about coins tonic uh, if you guys have not invested if you have not opened up a digital wallet if you have not purchased tonic or shiba i knew shame on you because tonic t-o-n-i-c is the coin um it has been going up over the last six days i'm counting six days that includes today an average of 24 percent every eight hours do you hear me every eight hours now i started doing my due diligence on tonic i seen it i seen the run there was a bear move coming i mean excuse me there was a bull move coming and and so i i i, I encourage all of the members of community investment club hey get into tonic get into tonic get into tonic and over the last five days everyone that has got in has already seen a profit and you can purchase a lot of coins based on barely nothing because we're buying a fraction of the coin it's five zeros and eleven it was five zeros and a twelve last time i checked Every eight hours, it has been growing 24% or greater. Now, I'm just telling you this, guys. Tonic is the coin. So we've been talking about cryptocurrency. Right now, cryptocurrency is at its bottom low. But in every market, whether we're trading stocks, bonds, mutual funds, uh, every market, there's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser. It's just that when we have a bear market, most of the stocks are going down. So our goal is to find those investment opportunities where we can win regardless of what's going on in the market. And that's where strategizing comes in at. That's where having a keen and an eagle eye comes in at. That's where being an investment club works for us because now it's just not me looking at the market. It's every one of our members, active investing members, that's AIM, A-I-M, active investing members. They, are, have, they have real time updates through message boards. We use Facebook as one of our resources. And it's a real-time message board where we get real-time updates, where we share and collaborate information. And that information is then stored, uh, researched, we do further due diligence, and we share information. The, the results of that, that due diligence, the results of that those uh, ideologies, the results of your expectations or speculations, and then we share them and we make an intelligent decision after prayer uh, and consideration and talking to God what to do next. Hallelujah. This is Community Investment Club. I'm Harold Elam, the internet guy, man. And um, this is weekend edition of After the Bell. Hallelujah. Did I say opening bell? I hope I said After the Bell. This is After the Bell weekend edition because it's Sunday. It's Sunday, January the 30th. Thank you for welcoming me into your homes, into your computers, on your phones, in your cars, wherever you are, if you're watching us. Guys, we'll spend about an hour with you and we, we start off our conversation with Oh, we have to pray every day. I said we was going to pray. Lord, forgive me. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you right now for another day. I thank you for the word on today, which we got from church, Lord. Uh, Prophet Kyle West brought the word, God, out of the book of Daniel, giving us a better understanding and insight of who we are and what we're supposed to be doing and what we don't aren't supposed to be letting stop us. Heavenly Father, I thank you right now, God, for the time I'm going to spend with Community Investment Club members, with new visitors, old uh, members, and those that have already been active. Glory be unto your name, God. Move me out of the way. Have a rainbow word for them and something we can use as we move forward towards you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Gotta remember to be obedient to the word of God. Hallelujah. Let me see here. I want to turn some of this down because I know, let's see if I'm turning it down. Oops. I turned the volume down because I got my stuff on and I didn't do stuff right. So y'all got my hands in there and I do apologize. Hey, it's Harold, the Internet Guy. This is Investment Group Partners. Uh, this is the weekend edition of After the Bell. It's Sunday, January the 30th. If you're just now joining us, if you've never joined us before, my ugly face is right here with you every day of the week, with the exception of Thursdays. We're here just to give you some insights on what to expect coming up. We're going to do our futures today. The futures mean what we expect the market to do Monday morning when it opens. If you're new to trading the markets open monday through friday
Friday, unless there's a state, national, ho federal holiday, then sometimes the markets are closed. But Monday, we have expectation. It's the last trading day of January. 31 days will have passed if God allows us to see tomorrow. And today, we're going to give you information on what we think the stock's going to do on tomorrow. Guys, and listen, real quick, uh, two things I need you to always have. Brokerage account. Did you open up a brokerage account? Did you open up an E-Trade, a Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade? Or uh, did you open a Fidelity? That was the one I was thinking about the other day. Did Robinhood, have you opened up a full service brokerage account? I'll wait. And did you get a digital wallet? A digital wallet. Highly recommended that you get a digital wallet. Cryptocurrency is a decentralized currency. I guess it's a decentralized method. And I don't quite understand the, 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 uh, the breakdown of cryptocurrency, but I do know that it is the future of trading or buying money between individuals, regardless of where you live. Um, where, where right now currency goes, like if I go to a different country, I have to change my American dollars to the country dollars that I'm visiting. Um, sometimes they will take still American dollars or I have to use a debit card. That's when we first started Visa, American Express. Well, now cryptocurrency for those that are just getting into the, to the business, here's my understanding. I can use this coin to buy, sell, and trade, not just on the internet, but anywhere in the world. So that's the difference because Bitcoin is going to become, become recognized. That's the mother of all cryptocurrency. And the more and more cryptocurrency is accepted, the more and more of us get into cryptocurrency, you've now created a new type of currency. They don't want to call it currency, but that's what it is because it allows me to buy something. And as I invest in it, it goes up. And the currency we've been talking about or the crypto coin we've been talking about is tonic, T-O-N-I-C. Tonic, T-O-N-I-C. It is a fraction of a, right now $40, $40, too much, $20, oh, too much, $10. You can purchase Tonic. You can purchase on your own, but you got to get a digital wallet. Digital wallet doesn't cost you anything. If you're an active investing member, you already have the link. You get $25. Of, if you go to crypto.com, they give you $25. If you use the link that Investment Group Partners supplies, they give you $25, but the $25 is of their coin. Crypto.com has their own coin. Like Bitcoin is a coin. Shiba Inu is a coin. Tonic, the one I'm talking about, is a coin. These are coins that we purchase and are with the hopes of these prices going up. And Tonic, over the last six days, every eight hours, is when I studied a particular coin, and any coin has been going up on average 24%. So I'm trying to keep you abreast. So today is Inspirational Sunday. Hallelujah. We were talking about holiness. Holiness, man. And the word for the day, and I'm telling you, my pastors, man, were all over it. Uh, Pastor Kyle preached today. Um, I call him Prophet Kyle West because that's what God told me he is, the prophet. And he came from Daniel 5 and he went to Matthew 20 and 16. Um, but he said, go get him. That was the title of uh, the message. Um, and I got so much out of it, man. I got to go home and study. When you get a lesson like that, even Pastor West said, you got to go home and you got to digest this and you got to study and look for yourself and see what the word and how the word that you got today pertains to your living, your lifestyle, your activity as a, as a living and breathing Christian for, for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Um, we're going to be talking about the money today. Where's my money? Um, Monday. What do we expect on Monday? Well, I'm going to tell you, there's so much stuff in the news right now, and I've warned you guys before that the, the, the catalyst or the current events can actually affect the price patterns of the market. What we've been experiencing in the first quarter or the first three weeks of the new year, because the first week was pretty good, but the last three weeks of the new year, the first three, last three weeks of January have been horrible. The markets have been very volatile. We've lost so much in the market. The Dow Jones has lost money. S&P 500 has lost Um What's the other one? NASDAQ has lost. All of these exchanges have lost money. We trade the majority of our stocks on NASDAQ. There are a few stocks we do that do trade on the Dow Jones. That comes out of our ultra growth member fund, UGMF. That's our big boy fund. That's our growth fund. That's the one that it's a minimum of $100 to get in, maximum of $500. Uh, you can uh, repeat your investment three times in any quarter. And every 90 days, you can cash out your profits um, if you get stimulus check. Now, you get, should be in this for the long haul because most of our managed portfolios are good for two years. Because at the end of that two years, we're looking for this particular fund, the UGMF Ultra Growth Member Fund, 700% return. 
That's right, you heard me. 700% return. Now, as I lift this computer on my lap, we want to talk about Monday. We want to talk about the future. The futures, and the futures just mean that what our expectations are for the next day of trading. Um, we closed up. We closed up 2.88% as a whole. So all four of our managed portfolios closed up about 2.88%, which for us means about an extra $12,000. So we made an additional $12,000 on top of where we were. So that was a rebound for us. Now, all we did was gain back equity that we had lost in the last three weeks. We probably seen mm, real profits, $1,200, because we had lost some of the equity we had gained in the last quarter of the last year. And I hope that I understand that. So let me show you where, 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 where our wins came in at. Let's talk about wins. IMP, uh, excuse me, we're going to start with BBBY. BBBY. It is part of the Ultra Growth Member Fund. It is bed, bath, and beyond. On Friday's close, it was up 12.29%. Based on the holdings that we have of BBBY, we're up 23.4%. 23.40%. That is fantastic. Anytime you're trading over, you're up over 20% equity. That's 20% more than what you paid for the stock. 20% more than what you invested in the stock. That's our equity position. Um, and that's BBBY. And that's part of our ultra growth growth member fund, Bed Bath & Beyond. I see it. It's over there in summer, in downtown summer where I live. I've seen it at the malls. I've seen it. I've never really shopped there. I've been in their stores before, but hey, now that I should, because that's one of the stocks we're holding on to, ding, 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 ding. It's a recommended buy. We're talking about BBBY. Three Bs and a Y, Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, Next, we made money on Hood. Yeah, yeah, you heard me, Hood, Robin Hood. I wanted to buy Robin Hood. I, we got in before and we got back out, but I liked Robin Hood somewhere under $15. Did y'all hear me? I did. I liked Robin Hood somewhere under $15. It dropped. We got in at $11.50. It was up 9.65% for the day. And at Friday's close, we we're holding a 10.70 equity position. That's our gain. 10. 0.70% or 10.70%. So we're holding a good equity gain. We don't have a good position. We only bought like 100 shares, but we're holding a 10.70% gain because hood is kind of volatile. Robin Hood, people still like it. They like their cash position. They like what they're doing. It's a meme stock. Meme stock mean the boys on Reddit. They, they've been playing with it. They've got an army of people that, that buy, sell options, and they make their money however they make their money, but they can cause the stock to go up and they can cause the stock to go down. But some of the experts, some of the institutions, some of those people, those big boys, those those whales as they call them, they still like Robin Hood. And so we looked into it. I did my due diligence. Hood was purchased for NEIF. NEIF is our neighborhood economic income fund. If you're learning for the first time who we are, we're investment group partners. We are the parent association of community investment club, which is a members only community of investors. That's what we are. We just happen to be saved. Hallelujah. Glory be unto your name, God. Neighborhood Economic Income Fund is one of our managed portfolios, NEIF. And I try to give you initials so you'll know what they are. But NEIF is an income fund. It's $25 to get in. It's That's the minimum. So if you want to invest, you can invest $25. You can get in any quarter and you can invest three times in a quarter to increase your initial contribution. So if you start with 25, you can end up with 100. So any increase that NEIF experiences, you won't get it on 25 because any increases you do a retro back to the first investment, making your 25 100. If that makes sense. So instead of getting a, uh, uh, an increase on $25, you get an increase on your $100. We're one of the only investment clubs that do that. Glory be unto your name. But NEIF owns the percentage of Hood and Hood, H-O-O-D, which is Robin Hood, a full-time broker. They are cash rich right now. Um, we're at a 10.70 equity position. On Friday, they closed at 9.65% up. Um, next on that list is NKLA. Now, also part of NEIF, NEIF has become a great performance portfolio. 
It has been holding its ground. It's been doing its thing. It's been showing off. It's been showing up. And I, and I thank and I praise God because we had, uh, when we first started NEIF, man, we had to find the right group of stocks because based on Ecclesiastics 11 verses 1 through 6, we have to have seven or eight different stocks. And these seven or eight different stocks have to work in conjunction with one another. So if one's doing bad, the other one's doing good, it causes the portfolio to either maintain a position of flat or maintain a position of growth. We never want to decline. Now, decline can happen on an individual company, but when the entire portfolio begins to decline, that's when red flags go up. Ding, 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 ding. Red flags. So there's something we have to do. We have an exit strategy for each of our portfolios that's blanket, which means no matter what, what portfolio it is, what managed portfolio it is, has the same type of exit strategy. We have the same entry strategy or trading strategy, but each individual managed portfolio has its own end result expectation, has its own goals. So NEIF, Neighborhood Economic Income Fund, is a $25 minimum investment. You want to get in, it's $25. I tell people, say $5 a week at the end of the month, hey, invest in the, in the, in the portfolio. Turn in $25 into $500 into two quarters or six months. See that? Two quarters or six months, however you want to count it, or 180 days, say it like that. But NEIF is a minimum of $25 to get in, and I encourage you to get in now because guess what? We're still in the first quarter, so you still got time to get in. What February is is Tuesday, um, my, my birthday month, hallelujah, February the 10th. Y'all better remember that. Um, but you can get in right now. NEIF, the minimum is $25, the maximum is $100, and you can do $25 a month or $100 a month three times in any quarter. Um, so you can get in now. Um, but in NKLA, uh, it was trading up 7.32%. We like stocks to be anywhere between 5 and 10% increase every day. 5 to 10% increase. I'll take any increase. But where we like to maintain on average is a 5 to 10% increase every day. This was up 7.32%. We have a good holdings. Um, our Total gain is up 4.68%. So the daily gain was greater than the equity gain, but we hold an equity position of 4.68%. And you can tell the difference because it was it closed at $7. We're going to go into after-hour trade because remember, certain stocks still trade after hours. And that just means when the market closes on the West Coast, it's 1 o'clock. When it closes on the East Coast, it's 4 o'clock. But they stay open for another three hours and they trade after market. After hours, the stock traded down to $7.45. Um, before the market closed, it closed at $7.48. Here's the good news, and I want you to hear it. Uh, we bought in at $7.14. So that's why we have an equity position of 4.68%. So that means an equity position for this managed portfolio, we're talking about NEIF, Neighborhood Economic Income Fund. I'm teaching you guys today because we're talking about the futures. What are our expectations? These are the stocks that we have money invested in. These are the stocks as a community, as a group, as a club that together we have money invested in. And so I want you to get to know these companies, where we're at, where our position is at, where we won on Friday and where we lost on Friday. Glory be unto your name. Um, if you're just now joining us, I'm Harold Elam, the internet guy, Dr. Harold Elam Jr. That's me. I am CEO and co-founder of Investment Group Partners. We are the parent association recognized by the state of Nevada as an association, as a members only association, but we are the parent association for community investment clubs excuse me, of Community Investment Club, where you're a member. And if you're watching me, you're a member. Or if you're watching me and not a member, someone share this video with you. Glory be unto your name, God. Because we are private, members-only membership. That means the only way you can get in is somebody got to invite you. Hallelujah. Somebody's got to care enough, love you enough, and be encouraged enough to let you know, hey, here's an opportunity for you to establish, build, manage, and maintain the framework for your family's financial future. You've got to get started. And I'm encouraging everybody to get started today. I started something. Uh, uh, earlier today, that means if you're new as an active investing club member, let me explain what membership means. We have 584 members. That's our online membership. That's the enrollment. These are people that listen, watch, learn, tweet, share, and all that good stuff. And then out of that 584 uh, online members, 120 plus of them are active investing members. So out of that five. Uh, 84, one, let's say 120 are active investing members. These are members that literally have invested with us together. We pool our funds together. We invest together. We got a greater return together. And I put out there reasons why you should invest in uh, community group 
Portfolio Club Investing. It's just a product that we put out there as investment group partners, and it, the returns have been phenomenal. Uh, we've had a bad three weeks. The last three weeks of the new year of January have been horrible, but we've been able to maintain based on our strategies across the board. And Friday, we had a recovery day. We recovered back any losses as a whole, because um, we have four managed portfolios, but as a whole, we recovered back 2.88%. So that it, it, in dollar terms, as a whole, we made about $12,000. Glory be unto your name, God. And that's good for us because going into this first quarter, a lot of people come in going into the second quarter, they, they, they've reached their goals because they individually tell me, Harold, here's my goal. Here's why I'm invested. Somebody might be investing $800 a month. And at the end of, of, of three quarters, they say, here's what I want to obtain. And, and if their portion of the managed portfolio has reached their goal, you have every right, if you want to, to cash cash out. If it has not reached your goal every 90 days when you get your statement, look at your statement and say, you know what? I want to cash out. It's okay. That's the option that we give you, even though I encourage long-term investing because this ain't about Harold. This ain't about Rashonda. That's my beautiful wife. It's about Sade's children. Children, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hallelujah. Because that's what the Bible says in Proverbs 13, 22, and that's what inspired and encourages us and keeps us going to realize that we're doing a work. This is part of a calling. This is part of a work. And my job is to teach you how to build the framework or how to fish so you can feed your family for a lifetime. Because once you learn how to do this, it's like riding a bicycle. you never forget. And it gives you an opportunity to take disposable income, turn your pennies, your actual pennies. Go get your piggy bank. Turn your pennies into investable dollars. But we're talking about active stocks and we're talking about Monday. Uh, BBBY, ding, 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 recommended by Bed Bath & Beyond. Y'all better buy it. Buy it, buy it, buy it. Hood, hood, get in now. Get in up to $15. I would not buy Robin Hood over $15. So if you're going to get in on Monday, Hood, H-O-O-D, you better get it. It closed at twelve seventy three after hours. Hood, H-O-O-D, it is a recommended buy for the money. It closed at twelve fifty four. That means it's probably going to open up around twelve fifty. 1255. If you're going to get in, get in early. It's going to make a dip in the morning based on the charts that I'm seeing. But in the morning, we're going to have opening bell. Something can change because guess what? What changes? That news behind me. And they just already talked about there's another strand of COVID. What? There's another strand of COVID. News like that. Uh, the Russians are, are, are in Ukraine. Um, Boris Yeltsin, the, the, the guy that runs uh, Great Britain, he, he's having parties during COVID. It's just now being revealed. News can change stuff. Bridges falling in, 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 in the United States. Accidents. Nine people died in an accident here in Vegas. This can change the market. And because the current um, administration, whether you voted for them or not, um, I truly believe in the infrastructure of our country. When a bridge falls and people die, I believe in the infrastructure of our country. I mean, it needs to be fixed up. And so as we go through this new industrial revolution, I truly believe that the stock market is self-correcting itself and it's going to continue to go up. But you have to be in the right areas. That's why they have sectors. Each sector has a series of industries and each industry represents a particular market or area of, 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 our, of this new revolution is happening. I call this the right now revolution. And, and you got to get ready for it. This is your right now normal because if you're not ready for it, it's just it's going to change. It's going to change. You give, give it a couple hours. Um, we were talking about Hood. So Hood is recommended by up to $15. Hood, H-O-O-D. And then N-K-L-A. NKLA. Let's talk about that for a little bit because um, they somebody said it was a mean stock, but it, it's Nicola. Nicola Corporation. It's, it's at seven dollars and forty five cent. I like it all the way up to ten dollars. I like it all the way up to ten dollars. It has a fifty two week high that it hit February the fourth of last year. So I'm gonna watch the historical pattern to see if it's gonna if the pattern looks exactly the same as it did last year. Now you know me. I watch historical patterns. I look for data that repeats itself because I truly believe that every active move will eventually repeat itself. That's how I call the methodology on these stocks when I'm watching the charts. And it had its 52-week high of $25.23 on February the 4th of 2021. Well, February the 4th is about four days away. Hallelujah. So we're going to watch the pattern. I'll let you know more about Nikola or NKLA. I like it up to $10. I will buy it up to $10. Anything over $10, I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy because you want to give yourself a margin of profitability. When we buy stocks, our, our trading level as a, as a club is $25 or less. 
stocks. Yes, because we look for stocks that are trading, uh, companies that have good cash positions, companies that have historical data, companies um, that have a history of doing what they do in their, in their particular industry, uh, companies that may trade on S&P 500. But we look for companies that are at least 30 percent. That's one of our key indicators trading 30% or greater than their 52 week high because the margin of profitability is there. And I got that from trading penny stocks. I love penny stocks, but penny stocks are still one of the uh, greatest margins of profitability, but also the most volatile because you can watch a penny stock. We watched uh, portfolios go from 20 grand to 10 grand in a matter of seconds. Um, Cause you imagine it's like buying coins because you're not really buying a penny. You're buying a margin of that particular stock. But in reality, defining penny stocks as uh, Wall Street does means it's a stock that's trading less than $5. That's how they define it. Um, some people disagree with me, but it's a stock trading less than $5. So you're still trading a penny stock. We're talking about NKLA, uh, Nikola Corporation, 52-week uh, highs, 2523. Extended hours, it closed at $7.45 on Friday. We like it up to $10. We hold a good position, and we will continue to buy and recommend um, NKLA. Um, next on the list is uh, DATS, D-A-T-S. That's one of our newest ones. Now, we've been running with DATS. We like DATS. I've even talked with the CEO of DATS. Um, I've got a meeting with him because um, what we do as investors, we like the companies. Uh, we are influencers. As, as an organization, investment group partners, we have several different services that we're now supplying to the community. As a Nevada recognized association, we provide these resources to companies, especially small companies or growing uh, mid, small cap to mid cap companies. Uh, large cap companies we haven't gotten into yet, but we, uh, we help manage and market their social media, their business development, their digital marketing. And so that's, we reached out to them. We like the company. We got in at $2.10. We hold a 4.34 percent equity position we're up it was trading up at 5.26 percent on friday um it belongs to the community group investment fund that's cgif cgif is our very first fund it's the mother of all funds with investment group partners uh, it is our first one man and we love it it was closing after hours it, it didn't trade after hours so it closed at two dollars and twenty cent we like it we like it. D-A-T-S. It's that chat. And it, that chat is a private, uh, I'm going to read a little bit about it. That chat incorporated is a communication software company. So the sector is technology. We like technology. Ding, 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 ding. The industry is software and IT services. The company's product, that chat messenger and private social network application is a mobile application that gives users the ability to communicate with privacy and protection. So we're looking at it ourselves because right now we had we use Facebook for uh, Meta. That's what they call it now. Meta, previously known as Facebook, <laughs> like Prince. Um, but Meta, previously known as Facebook, uh, has Messenger. We use Messenger as a real-time uh, ability to show active investing members aim what's going on in the markets. That way they got real-time updates, real-time data, what's going on, what's going on. Um, we ask you to download Messenger so because and we have every managed portfolio has its own messenger group. So there's updates, and we do these updates constantly throughout the day while the markets are open. The markets are open for us for active trading Monday through Friday from 6.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time until 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. On the East Coast, is a three-hour difference, so just add three hours, 9.30, 4 o'clock on the Eastern Standard Time. But in Hawaii, it's, it's, it's behind us. Um, so regardless of where you are, and if you're an active investing member with us, you're part of that messaging board. Well, DATS supplies that same type of service that Messenger offers from Meta, Facebook, normally known as Facebook. And we like the company. The company's growing. Listen, their 52-week high is $18.50. So the margin of profitability is so much greater. What we did is we looked at each of the companies that we invest in. DATS is one of them, and DATS is part of community group investment fund, CGIF. CGIF is one of, is our value fund. $25 to get in is the minimum. Uh, 65 people can join this fund within a two-year period. We're up to 57, so nine more people, eight more people can get in. So I'm inviting you to get in right now. And if you get in right now, we'll match your initial contribution. But you have to be new. You can't be current. So that means if you come into um, CGIF, Community Group Investment Fund, you invest $25, we'll match it. You'll not have $50. How about that? Until February 15th. Until February, and that's any one of the funds. I meant to say that earlier, but I got tongue-tied, left my 
thought pattern and the Holy Spirit brought it back to me. So you will match it. Investment Group Partners, IGP, will match any new member that gets in between now. Now, hear the sound of my voice until February the 15th. Whatever you invest, whatever fund you get into, whether it's the Neighborhood Economic Income Fund, which is $25 minimum, $500 maximum, will match your initial contribution up to $100. <laughs> up to $100. So even if you got into the um, glory be unto your name, got into Ultra Growth Member Fund, it's a minimum of 100, maximum of 500. But let's say you did 500. So we'll match 100 of that 500. So instead of having 500, you only have 600. Does that make sense? So your initial contribution will be $600. We'll match it uh, up until February 15th because we're looking to fill the funds up so no one else can get in. Because open enrollment is supposed to happen every quarter, but God has given us a certain number for each of the managed portfolios. And Community Group Investment Fund is the largest, but it's also a value fund. Minimum $25, maximum $100. You can increase your funds three times a year, in three times a quarter, or 12 times a year. So every 90 days, you can add to your initial contribution. So that means if you get in at $25, you start in January. Let's say you said today. You say, here, I want to start today. Glory, I want to get into community group investment fund. How do I get started? You uh, Zelle us $25. You Cash App us $25. You PayPal us $25. You um, what's the other one? Venmo us $25. You chime us $25. Um, you become a, a member of the that particular fund and we will match it. So now your $25 is $50. Now at the end of this, in, during this quarter, which is January, February, March, you can add to this fund three more times and it will be, that money will be added to your initial contribution. So it's retro back to the initial. So if you did $25 before February 15th, we match it, so now you got $50. And if you did another $25 between now and the end each month for three or three more times, then you would have $125 as your initial initial contribution. So that means any gains, any performance, any equity earned in that first quarter, which is January, February, March, will be added to $125 and not your initial $25 or 50 because you 25 we match 25 gives you 50. We're only going to match your first initial contribution. We're not going to match your increases that you're allowed to do. But if you get in now, between now and February 15th, hallelujah, we will match up to $100. So I'm inviting you guys, come on in. Join the active investing members, man. Join us today and uh, start building the framework. Start managing and establishing the framework of your family's financial future. We were talking about debts, debts. Ding, 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 ding. Recommended by, I really like that. Uh, we have a meeting tomorrow with him, uh, the CEO of Dads, and hopefully we'll gain that account. Um, there's so many things that we're we're doing right now that we want you guys to get involved in. This is the reason why I'm telling you about and um, um, your brokerage account. You have to have a full service brokerage account because some of the things that I would ask you to do, you can't do if you only have a cash app buying stocks or PayPal buying stocks or some little app buying stocks. You need a full service brokerage account. And every one of the companies nowadays have apps. So even if you sign up for E-Trade, they have an app for your phone. You sign up for Charles Schwab, it has an app for your phone. You sign up for TD Ameritrade, it has an app for your phone. You sign up for Fidelity, it has an app for your phone. Um, we've already covered BBBY, Ding, 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 ding. Recommended by Bed Bath & Beyond. Trading at $15.53. It closed up $12. It closed up 12.29%. And after hours, it was up another 0.26%. So really, it closed at $15.57. So we're looking for that to open up huge because it's 52-week high. It's $44.51. So what we did is we looked at all the stocks we own. We looked at all of the positions that we have. Like positions mean how many shares we own. And we looked at the 52-week high. We took the 52-week high on, on expectation that the shares that we own and times it by that number. And we came up with a $250,000 fund. So that means that the end of the third, end of the second quarter. So that means January, February, March, April, May, and June, that our portfolio, y'all hear me when I say this, and I'm speaking, I'm speaking this in Jesus' name, our portfolio should be worth a half a million dollars. That means we all eat. You hear me? That means we all eat. And, but in order to continue to grow our portfolio, we've got to continue to make our investments. Um, but 
based on what we looked at, we looked at the numbers, and these are speculations based on the growth, the patterns of the stock, even with the market doing what it's doing, we're looking at the individual companies and their potential as a company and what they're going to do. And like, for instance, Bed Bath & Beyond, the 52-week high is 44.51, and that stock alone, just getting to its 52-week high, would push us to another level. But we did it for all 26 stocks that we and are invested in and it pushed us to a value if it does exactly what we're expecting it to do it pushes us to a value of five hundred and twenty five thousand dollars glory be unto y'all name hey you can share that with your friends that means we all eat regardless of whether you invested twenty five dollars or invested twenty five hundred dollars everybody eats because we all get the same percentage of the increase but based on our initial contribution. So that means if the stock went up 400%, you get a 400% return on the money you invested. So if you've invested $1,000, you times 1,000 by 400%, tell me what you got. If you invested $25, you get 400% of the $25. That's the beauty of investing. That's the reason why we tell you on average, what we're doing at Investment Group Partners through Community uh, Portfolio Club Investing is we're turning over, we're giving a return on your money. We're having you, helping you to get a return on your money through actual investments. And it's easy to do because you can take disposable income. For me, y'all know my story. I said it last week. I said it on, um, was it Super Saturday? <laughs> um, and I spoke to you about no more Starbucks. Most people didn't know me that my, my partners, the guys and girls that invest with me, the officers and the board members of investment group partners, they know no more Starbucks. So that $8 a day that I was spending, I said no more than I invested. So eight times seven, 56. That was $56 a week that was invested. $8 a day. That was it. And we turned it into 40K. Turned it into $40,000 in less than two years. So guys, listen, $8 a day? Come on. Now, I want you to hear something for a minute because most of y'all heard of Tesla. Most people say, oh, yeah, I buy own Tesla stock. They don't like one share, two shares. Well, six years ago, let's just go six years ago. Six years ago, uh, let's see, I'm 54, about to be 55, February the 10th. God be the glory. I look good for 55. Look at that. Look at that. I got a little ball spot out there, but you know God is good. Um, but six years ago, I was uh, 49. I was 49 years old. Six years ago, Tesla was trading at $40 a share. It's now $800 a share. Kyle said something today during the service, and he said 20 years ain't that long. And it really isn't that long. I don't know how old you are, but if, if 20 years, I'm worth $1.6 billion. That's my number. Um, I'm okay with that because I'll be 74. Yes, I'm okay with that because right now I went to the doctor the other day and to God be the glory. Guess what? I'm healthy. Ain't nothing wrong with Doc. Say, oh, man, everything's good about you. I don't know what you're doing. And I eat Twizzlers, drink coffee, don't smoke. And so I stopped smoking about 12 years ago. Um, I eat. I love to eat. Um, I eat maybe once or twice a day. Um, I've, I've lost some weight. I, I went from a 36 back to a 34 in the waist. And I thank and praise God. My exercise, I get on the car a lot. Um, uh, 3497 Boulder Highway, you want to buy a car? Platinum motor cars. We sell luxury for less. I had to put that commercial in there. Hallelujah. Um, but I thank and praise God because we'll be in a position to where every one of us eats. But in order to continue to grow our portfolios, we have to be consistent with our investments. Now, here's what I always recommend. I tell people, find you disposable income. Find your $8 a day. Find your $5 a day. Find your $3 a day. I don't care what it is, but make sure it's a disposable income. That income that doesn't upset your bills, doesn't upset your household, doesn't upset your tithes. And then invest the difference. Otherwise, you're giving it away. If you're still smoking cigarettes, stop smoking. I know it's going to be hard. Well, cigarettes are $9 after tax. $9 a pack. So let's say $10 in certain areas. So if you smoke three packs a day, that's $30 a day. And if you times that, um, $30 a day, where's my little calculator? Glory be under your name. That's $180 a week. Actually, it's $210 a week because it's seven days. $210 a week that you could be investing. So let, let's just see that for a minute. I'm a smoker. Not me, really. I'm just giving me as an example. I don't think I smoke. But $210 a week, we're going to times that by 52. That means I can invest $10,920 a year. Now, we're going to times that by the average return we've been getting, which is 250%. And that means my $10,000 becomes $27,300 in a year. So I've turned a smoking habit 
that I've been spending $10,000 a year on into $27,000 in 52 weeks. So imagine if you've done that for 60 months, which is five years. It takes you five years to pay for a car. I sell cars. So a lot of people, my church cars, some of y'all I put in 72 month loans because the payments are affordable at 72 months. So let's say six years. So we're going to times that same number by 72. That's 72 months. No, we can't change it by 72. Let me go back. Hallelujah. We're going to times it by uh, six years, by six, because that's already at the year. That's $163,800. Okay, I'm waiting. So why aren't you investing again? Why are you not investing again? Wait a minute, you'd rather smoke $10,000 a year instead of investing $10,000 a year. And over the next five years, you could have $163,000. That's paying off somebody's house. Wow. I'm asking you to stop something in order to get something. <laughs> Sacrifice is real. Guys, listen, we're talking about the market today. Um, did I tell you, hey, if you're just now joining us, if you've never seen my face before, my name is Harold Deal, I'm the internet guy. I'm Dr. Harold Deal Jr. Yes, I have a PhD. I have a dual doctrine, and I thank and I praise God. Went to UC Irvine as my undergraduate. Went to Canterbury Christ Church University. Man, I spent time in London. What a young black man like me landed at Heathrow International Airport in the late 80s. Hallelujah. Man, I've had opportunity to live in California, live across the country. Country, but I built websites. I built a name for myself. I, I was a school teacher. Y'all didn't know I used to teach. Yes, I used to teach. Hallelujah. And I got into the car business by accident. Someone asked me to build a website and that's what I did. And I made a name for myself. Since then, I've got saved. The Lord snatched me out of the enemy's hand. I've got married, had kids, bought a home, live in Las Vegas, go to Nehemiah Ministries Christian Church. And I'm sitting here talking to you, 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 and you, teaching you how to build the framework and management maintain the framework of your family's financial future. Guys, listen, you want to get better at managing the money that God has already blessed you with. Here's your opportunity to, to do more. Stop crying about being broke. Stop crying about having pity parties when you know you're spending money in areas of your life has no need. For me, it was that coffee. It was no more Starbucks. I love coffee. I can drink coffee 24 hours, seven days a week. And today I went and bought me some Starbucks. Hallelujah. You know why? Because I can afford it now. Hallelujah. But I went and bought me some. But I do realize that that's not where I'm at. I still drink my dollar, 99 cent cup of coffee at the Rebel up the street, making myself, get it every morning. After I get out of prayer, I get dressed. I'm very predictable, and I really probably should change some of that. But the Lord knows me, hallelujah, and he knows what I'm going to do. Um, and I will not let nothing move me, man. That's what the preacher was talking about today. Get into a position of purpose. In so many words, and I'm paraphrasing, but get into a position of purpose. And don't let nobody move you, shake you, disturb you. And the only thing I could think about when Kyle was preaching this morning was Colossians 2 and 8. And let's read that real quick. I'm going to, and I'm, and I'm in the Amplified Version because that's the book that I have in front of me. Um, he went to, let's see. You know, I always remember the books of the Bible is I, I, I think about Paul's journeys. And when so then you if you if you know Paul, we had to study Paul. Paul was one of the lessons we studied when I was in school. And if you know Paul's journey, you'll learn where the books of the Bible was. Like he was in Ephesus and then he went to Thessalonians and went to Coloss. And then you'll know where the books are because that's the way that they put them in order. Um, glory be unto your name, God. But Colossians 2 and 8, 2 and 8, and it reads, see that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception. Um Pseudo intellectual babble according to the tradition and musings of mere men following the elementary principles of this world rather than following the truth, the teachings of Christ. Let me read that again. And this is the amplified version. So I want you to hear this again. See it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception. Pseudo intellectual babble. Pseudo intellectual babble according to the tradition and musings of mere men, following the elementary principles of this world rather than following the truth of teachings of Christ. And everything that I need in life, everything that I'm going to do in life, I'm going to learn from the word of God. I'm going to get it from Christ. Everything. That's when the Bible tells you everything. We can no longer eliminate God in certain areas of our life because we think he doesn't need to be there. Man, who are you? 
Glory be unto your name, God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. Don't get caught up in your own mindset. Acknowledge him in all thy ways. Lord, do I go here? Lord, do I go there? Lord, do I go left? Do I eat this? Do I not eat that? Do I talk to them? Do I not talk to them? And you know, that takes time. Well, take time out to let God guide you the right way. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways. And he, he, he meaning God shall direct thy path. Glory be unto your name, God. We're still talking about stocks today, guys. We're still living a life that um, God would give us, man. Hallelujah. Um, and let me see where we are, man. I am I am thanking and praising God. We're talking about, we've got through five stocks. I know that. We got through Bed Bath & Beyond. Ding, 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 ding. Recommended by. Um, we got through um, NKLA, N N Nicola. Um, but we know the call letters or the symbol uh, that we want you to get into is um, NKLA. We got it through Hood. Hood meaning Robin Hood. Robin Hood is a is a it's a discount broker, full service now. They used to be one. They still consider the meme stock. Um, we got through Dats, D A T S, Dats. Um, and we got through recommendation. I'm telling you guys, if you're ready to invest right now, get started right now. You can get started with as little as $25. Hit me up, email me, tweet me. My number is 702-901-9128. You can text me, tell me how do I get involved. You can talk to me over the phone. Sunday evenings around this time is a good time for us to talk because I'm usually downstairs watching the news, doing my updates, studying the Bible, looking for the futures, asking God what's next. What's next? Hallelujah. Glory be unto your name. Um, these are broadcasts. These are daily broadcasts that we do to help out our members. And if you're if you're hearing me, you're already a member of Community Investment Club. But the question that I have is, are you an active investing member? I'll wait. <laughs> so next on the line is AT&T. Yes, hallelujah. Y'all better shake what your mama gave you. So we got in good at AT&T. AT&T was going up. It did a little dip. Got all the way down back to 22. I think we bought in at 19, but AT&T after hours is trading up 25.22 is the current market price. It's 52 week high is 33.88. Specialists, analysts, Big boys, the institutions, they're saying this is a $50 stock. It should be right there with Verizon. AT&T has got into not only the 5G game with Verizon, they both made an initial announcement about not uh, launching their 5G around airports until like uh, the second quarter. So we're expecting AT&T to, to, to exceed, to, to meet. They're 33.88, they're 52 week high, and exceed it because the expert says it's a $50 stock. And so we're going to hold on to ATT. ATT also is in the streaming game. They're thinking about, remember, they, I got ATT in my house, they're direct TV. They're in that streaming game. That is a big business right now. And with the markets dropping the way it is, it's a game that they want to get into. So ATT is one of our recommended buys. Ding, ding, ding. We are ATT up to $30. That's one of the ones that we're raising our tolerance level for. So if you're going to buy ATT, you better buy it over the next next couple of days because it's going to hit 30 and once it gets comfortable at trading at 30 ain't no way back we're up 4.5 percent for the day 10.76 percent worth of equity so we have a good position in at we have a good equity position with at and next is open open if you own your home you should know about open open is like um let me see how I can put it. It's like the Carvana of the car business. Hallelujah. We don't like Carvana because we're independent dealers. But Carvana has that machine that you buy the car. But Carvana will also come by your car. Well, open door will come by your house. You can put your stuff in there. It doesn't cost you anything. If you own a house right now, I want you to go look at open door technologies. Put your information in there. They'll make an offer on your house. And write you a check. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had to just put the address in there and see what it was. Five hundred and nine thousand. I got a. I got an email from them the other day. I was like, "Oh my god!" And um, so you you've got to watch these things. Know what you're investing in, guys. This is where our money goes every day. Open door technologies, um, social sentiment and site distribution. Investors place is thirty three percent. Seeking alpha like it for twenty nine percent. Motley Fool like it for sixteen percent. Others about twenty two percent. It's the sector is average. Is they're bullish. They're bullish on the stock. I like open door. Um, I really like Open Door. I liked it around five dollars, but we didn't get in at five dollars. It's trading at eight dollars and eighty-one cent. O P E N. That's the that's the symbol. Um, it was up three point six five percent for the um, 
for the day, we got in at $8.78. We're at a 0.24%. We got equity. As long as it's green, I'm happy. It's not the number where I want it to be. But keep in mind, we're looking for great things out of Open Door. Open Door Technologies um, is one of the stocks we recommend. It's 52-week high. It's 39.24. It hit 2000. It hit February the 11th, 2021, the day after my birthday. So we're looking at these patterns because a lot of these stocks had 52 weeks high in February. And I don't know whether because it's tax season, I can't tell you, but the historical data reads, the charts read that there's a, there's a pattern going on that resembles last year. The pattern of the stock for this year, which is 2022, is starting to resemble the pattern of last year. And that's why I told you every active pattern, I truly believe, repeats itself. This is why I look at historical data. I go far back as five years, a lifetime of a company, to see what the pattern was. And I look at the line patterns. Now, remember, I'm not an expert at this. I have to put the commercial out there. I am not an expert. I went to school for human behavior. So I'm looking at analytics. I'm looking at demographics. I'm looking at the, the, um, the algorithms because that's what I'm used to studying. So what, when dealers hired me, when OEMs hired me, when I used to travel around the country for, for the for the manufacturers of, of, of cars, I set up, I gave them advice based on the information that I seen, based on the patterns of what their store was doing. Here's your demographics. Here's how many 20 to 30 year olds are buying your car. Here's the zip codes they're buying them in. Here's the income that they have. Here's the analytics. How many people are visiting your website? Here's how many phone calls you get versus how many sales you got. And I did year over year over year over year and then month over month. And then I give them I say, here's what you should do if you want to increase it. Because based on this information that I'm giving you, here's, here's where your success is at. And that's what I use, the same methodology that I use, which is called systematic concept duplication to read these charts. And it's been working for us. To God be the glory. He allowed me to keep this information and use that knowledge as a key indicator on what to do next. Oh, y'all ain't got to listen to me. I'm super excited, man. You know why I'm super excited? Because this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice, hallelujah, and be glad in it. But we're looking at Open Door. Open Door Technology, 3924. The patterns are looking the same as they did this time last year. So what I think is that if they're the same patterns, you get the same results. Does it make sense? Those, that's my methodology. People say, hey, then you got the most controversial system for doing it. And I've been criticized online. I've been talked about. And I will tell you this, but those same folks follow our trades. Y'all better hear me. Um, but right now, it had a volume of 13610000 Its average 10-day volume is $16 million. The market cap on this company is $5.4 billion. This is Open Door Technology. And I'm telling you, their 52-week high is $39.24. We're in at $8. I like it up to $10. So if you're going to buy the stock, you better buy it now. I like it up to $10 because once it breaks, right now it, it has a, um, a resistance at $10. It's been, it, it gets up there and it, and it go boom and it go back down. It gets up to 980 and it goes back down. So, so at, what I'm telling you to do is buy now before it breaks the resistance. Once it breaks the resistance, this stock is going to run for about five days. Um, over the last five days, and I'm looking at a chart on that, I'm going to look away from you. It got as high as $9.30, 943 and that was at... That was on the 26th of January at 8.15 in the morning. And I'm talking about the last five days. And I'm just, and it got to nine. And then it dipped way back down. And I'm talking the same day around 3.30. It dropped from um, 9.43 to 8.81. And so, th and we know because that's when the market was very volatile. Um, but over the last month, now I'm going to show you this. Over the last month, the stock was $15.07. $15. So I'm telling you, because of the market correction, the market correction causes stocks to dump because the people that own the stocks run scared. Don't think that the company's doing bad. And what happens, it's a sell-off. It's a major sell-off. So people bought the stock. The people back in on January 3rd, they bought this stock for $15. They're now selling because they're like, oh, my God. And when it, when so when the, the Dow and the Nasdaq and this S and P five hundred start plummeting, they sold off. Doesn't make Open Door a bad company. Just makes it an affordable stock. But it's gonna go back up because that's what you should call undervalued. It's undervalued. So if you get it now between eight 
and ten dollars. I wouldn't do no more than ten dollars. Anything more than ten dollars, you're a fool. Um, but I would be open door, O P E N, open door technologies. It's at eight ninety three after hours. It still went up. It's probably gonna open up tomorrow at nine ten dollars. So you got you got a window between nine and ten because then it's gonna shoot back up because the market is self correcting itself. Companies like Open Door, companies like AT and T. The the symbol for AT and T is just T, just T. <laughs> That's it. Like, you know, just T. But open doors, O P E N. You want to get in? Ding, 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 ding. Recommended um, by right there. Open door technology. Um, next on the list is Zom. Z O M. It was up 3.61% on Friday. It's under our family first uh, fund. Now, our family first savings fund, let me tell you about that. That was a crypto fund. I had high hopes for it, and it was supposed to be something for just a select group of people. So we got in. I put two hundred dollars. I think um, my sister Elder Mary she put three hundred dollars. Sister um, another sister put two hundred dollars. And guys, so now I'm inviting five more people um, to invite five more people because we I, to get into this fund. It's it, it's like a it, it's going to trade like a mutual fund. We no longer do crypto. We may do a crypto related stock, but the Family First Savings Fund is now going to use the same characteristics as a mutual fund. Now, it may get back into crypto, but right now we're looking for profits because we lost our money on crypto. Crypto just started plummeting, man. It didn't make any sense. It's too volatile for me. I like crypto over the weekend. Um, right now, if you're in tonic, tonic's going to do good. It's doing good over the weekend, but I might put a sell bid in. They sell and get your profits. Get your profits because the one thing I do love about crypto, man, is that because you can use it over the weekend to make money, you can increase your cash position. We've seen our money go from 250 to 1500 in crypto. That was in Shiba Inu. So I like crypto for raising funds. But, and, it's, and you get it the same day. If you listen to what we're teaching you and you, you get the right digital wallet, you can cash out, put it on a Visa card and keep going. See, so what I do is I got to connect it to a group brokerage account, which is our E-Trade. So we cash out. It goes right there. We use their funds to buy more stock. Make sense? But anyway, the Family First Savings Fund, um, get in. Guys, if you're looking for something easy, if you're looking for like a mutual fund, you're looking for something that's less aggressive, I don't invest in aggressive stocks. I find stocks that are just moving steadily, growing up. So this is a combination between um, growth and, and value stocks. Growth and value is what we're looking for. And so right now, Zomedia or Zomedica is one of them. And it's up. It's 29 cents a share. And it's trading on the NASDAQ, so there's no fees. Um, we have a great position. Our equity position is 7.31%. It's 29 cents. Do you hear me? 29 cents. Uh, after our trading, it was down to 28, almost 29 cents. So, But we're still up. Uh, they had 11 million shares. Uh, the volume, and but the average volume is ten one point two nine million. The market cap is a two hundred eighty five thousand dollar company. Um, some of the experts don't like it, but it's on Medica, and uh, I'm gonna tell you what it does. Zom Medica is a veterinary and health company. People love their pets. That's the reason why I got into it. They love their pets. I truly believe that this is the next rally right here, and so Zom is a recommended buy with caution. Because this stock is well undervalued, well undervalued. Do you hear me? At 29 cents, you can take $500 and buy a whole lot of shares. You can take $250 and buy a whole lot of shares. You can take $100 and buy a whole lot of shares. But Zomp Medica is stationed out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. It is for animals. The company is developing point-of-care diagnosis platform, which is based on uh, miniaturized laser-based Raymond uh, Spectrography technology, some word, five minute words I can't even pronounce, and is designed to detect um, pathogens in companion animals. And so people love their animals. Do you understand me? The latest news with this particular company was on January 27th. Um, Zomedica provides updates on Pulse Vet sales and marketing integration and marketing activities for the first quarter. And the stock started going up off of that news. And 29 cents. Do you hear me? Not just affordable. It really is a good company. We did the due diligence on the company. We like the company. Um, it's 52 week high. Guess when it came? February. February. A lot of these highs came in February. That's why I've been watching the pattern of these stocks. The industry, this is a healthcare industry. We got into healthcare. Because remember, healthcare was our uh, our amendment to the fourth quarter when, when we knew consumer cyclicals was all over. We knew consumers was over because of the Christmas holiday. We said we're gonna we added healthcare and health 
Healthcare kept us green. Healthcare kept money in our pocket. Healthcare kept us from losing. So Zomedica is a healthcare, biotechnology, and medical research. The sector is healthcare. The industry is biomedical, uh, bio, biotechnology, and medical research. And it, but it's for animals. So Zom, Z-O-M, 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 it is a recommended buy with caution. Uh, it's 29 cents. It's 52-week high. It's $2.91. So that means, and I want to I do some numbers for you. Let's say, glory be under your name, we're going to just, we're going to do a real um, live to show you what it would be so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's say that you are a self-investing member. That's one of our memberships, self-investing member. Those are the people that pay $25 a month just to get research, just to hear my voice, see my beautiful face. Uh, they use it for due diligence, to share ideologies, uh, to share the uh, results of uh, due diligence and active uh, community group research. So they're active investing members. They do this on their own. They push the button. Um, but right now, if we bought 1,500 shares at the market value, 1,500 shares, it costs you 400, I'm gonna get the $500 investment. So let's say, there we go, let's say, I'm gonna just, let me calculate $500 real quick. So a $500 investment, just $500, that's what I'm talking to, uh, 499.96 gets you 1,724 shares. 1,724 shares, that's at 29 cents. For this stock, just to hit, it's 52 week high, which I believe I said was $2.19. You turn your $500 into $3,700. See? And, and, and so now the stock keeps growing. Let's say you did not you did nothing different, but you decided to keep the stock for a year. Because this is what investing is all about, longevity. And the stock just hit double digits and you went to $10.25. So now your, your, your investment's worth $17,000. And you kept it for another year. You say, you know what? I like it. I got $17,000. I don't need the money right now. This is this is, was disposable income. See, when you get disposable income, you don't run back and take it. It's still disposable. Y'all don't want to talk to me. So now your, 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 your $500 investment you made a year ago is now worth $17,671. $500 a year ago, disposable income, extra 500 bucks you got. Maybe you hit a... Won some money at the casino. Maybe you got a stimulus check that they forgot to give you. Maybe uh, you just had $500 laying around in the piggy banks. You had enough, but you made $500 in a year, $17,671. So you kept it for another year because this is what stocks do and it's just growing. This is just average growth of the company because people love their pets. Let's just say it just doubled. It got to a regular price like AT&T, $25.21, which is not a bad price for a stock. But now your, your portfolio, just that stock, is worth $43,000. That's two years. So I'll wait two years to take $500 and make it into $43,462. That's the beauty of investing. So imagine if we do it as a group. So we're the same group. And instead of 1,700 shares, we were able to buy 17,000 shares. Now we're worth $428,000. See the difference? Community group club investing, portfolio investing is one of the best routes for us to go as a team. It teaches us uh, we have less risk, much less risk. Right now it's 120. We're going to say it's probably a little bit more, maybe 125. We're going to say 120 um, active investing members. Aim. On average, if, if we just did the average and... Um, and I, and I had one of my uh, my mentors just to ask me because he runs uh, an investment club also. His club is much bigger than ours and much profitable, but he also been doing it for five years. We've been doing it for six, seven months. We've been doing it for seven months, two quarters. Hallelujah. This is our third quarter, uh, first quarter of the new year, but this is our third quarter in doing this. Um, he said, Harold, you have to have an average. You you and the members, that means me, you, 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 and you. We got to come up with an average because some of us do $25. Me, uh, we do $1,000. We do $1,000 a month. Come rain, come shine. We do $1,000 a month. That's us, $12,000 a year. Uh, the goal is to invest for five years. Uh, same way we would do in a car uh, with a 250% return. That's our goal. And, and because, think about it, guys. We pay for a car that depreciates. <laughs> Think on that for a second. Anyway, so he said we have to come to an average. That average for us when I did the numbers was 165 a month. That's it. 165 a month times, we're going to just go with what I believe 120 active investing members. That puts us at 19.8. Y'all hear me? Just us doing $165 a month 
each together on average. Some do more, some do less, but we need to do $165 a month on average. And I, and I wanted to test this out for February. That means we have $19,800 to invest every month. And if we did that just for a year times the 12, I'm going to give you all this. This is just investments. We're at $237,000 the first year. The first year. That doesn't include profits. That's just our investments as a group. This is why we have to do things together. I looked at I looked at the strategy that the Mormon church, because sometimes investing in stuff is public, and you can find out. I looked at the strategy they use, and they use the average in order to invest. And now, if our average return is 250%, that's our average return. Some are greater, some are better. Our average return has been 250%. That gives us $594,000 at the end of the first year. Now, if we hang in there for two years, because I want these to be two-year growth portfolios, um, times two, that means our portfolio is $1 million, $1.1 million. That's our portfolio. Glory be unto your name. And that's just on average, guys. That's just on average. So I kept asking guys, so how do I make everybody a millionaire? That doesn't give us all a million, because us to be a millionaire, we gotta have $120 million. That way, equally, everybody gets a million dollars. Equally. How do I get there, Lord? And the strategy began to cover. God said, I'm gonna show you the end result. I seen the end result expectations. I seen it and I started focusing on the end result. So he said, I'm gonna create the how as you go along. So I looked at that same number. He said, There's your averages. So in order to get to your averages, you need to increase your members. So active investing members, so this is why I ask God, so give me something to come up with. We need to increase our active members because if that's at 120, y'all don't want to talk to me, that's at 120, at 240, it's 2 million. We already have 584 members. So we don't, we, even if we didn't get any more new members, let me show you. And I said, you already have the number. We have 584. We're going to times that by one 65. That's the average investment every month. 165. And I'm going to break the 165 for you down. All right. So that gives us $96,360 a month to invest. See, together, $96,000. That's buying power. I, see, we're, we're probably the only race of people that don't get together and do stuff. <laughs> so I'll get that's another story for another time. But I want to go. So I'm going to times that by 12. That gives us $1,000,000. One hundred and fifty six thousand three hundred twenty dollars. And we're going to times that by the two hundred and fifty percent return we've been getting. And that gives us two million eight hundred and ninety thousand dollars in the first year, in the first year. So even if we did on average and I divided that between five, eight and four and some people did more, some people did less. Out of one hundred and sixty five dollar investment, one hundred and sixty five dollars a month. You can put over 10 grand in your pocket. Guys, listen, in order for us to do this as a group, we, we have to be consistent. In order to do this as a group, we have to maintain a position and we have to maintain a position of purpose for our families. So that's why I ask sometimes, email me your goals. Let me see what your individual goals are so I can make it a group goal. Let me see what your individual um expectations are. What do you expect? What do you want at the end of this investing journey? What do you want? This is financial wellness. We're doing exercising for our money. This is why we call it financial wellness. This is a journey that we're on together because at the end of the year, I want to see all of us, all of us be in that position of millionaire status. All of us, regardless of your investments, regardless of your return. And God has already given us a route to go. He's already given us a way to go. But the consistency in how we do it, that depends on us. That depends on us. Now let me get back to that 165. So I said 165 a month. 165. We're going to divide that by 4.33. 4.33. And this is your, you need $38 a day. That's actually $38 a week. $38 a week. And let's divide that by seven. That's less than my Starbucks. That's $5.50 a day. Who's ready to say it? $5.50 a day. If we all just do $5.50 a day. Do you understand me? $5.50 a day. There's 365 days in a year. 
So five dollars and fifty cent. This is each individual. Um, we're going to times that by 365 days in the year. You've invested two thousand seven dollars. We're going to times that by 250 percent. That gives you five thousand dollars for your pocket. Times that by two. So in two years, you've turned that into ten thousand dollars. You want to wait? See how investing works? You can stick that same $5.50 a day into Bank of America. It's going to be $5.50 at the end of the two-year period. We're talking about turning $5.50 a day into $10,037.50 in 24 months. In 24 months. Now, I got a five-year plan because I need that. I'm looking for the six-digit. I'm looking for the seven-digit return. Because... When you look at where you're spending your money at right now, you've got more disposable income. You've got more waste money going places that it shouldn't go. Wasting my money on Starbucks was a waste. That $8 a day was a waste when I was putting it somewhere else. So how far do you want to go? Guys, listen, I don't know how long I've been with you. I've probably been with you longer than I wanted to be. Glory be unto your name. If you're just now joining us, my name is Harold Deal, the Internet Guy. I am Dr. Harold Deal Jr. This is Investment Group Partners. We are the Parent Association of Community Investment Club, and we're encouraging you, 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 and you to open up a full service brokerage account to get you a digital wallet and start investing, start establishing, managing, maintaining the framework of your family's financial future. You got to be ready for this. And how do you get ready for your family's financial future? You got to find some disposable income, take that disposable income, and you got to invest it. Let me show you how to invest it. whether you do it with a community group portfolio investing or whether you do it on your own and push the button and do it through man whatever you do let me show you how it doesn't cost you anything to learn how you're already watching me you may say well he's crazy i don't believe him don't. Then, then let's do it on your own let's take five dollars let's take five dollars and buy some crypto tell me, let me show you download crypto.com onto your wallet open you a digital wallet get your 25 dollars in free coins and then let me tell you take five dollars i'm tell you the right coins to buy and i guarantee you that we can take your five dollars and make it fifty dollars in 48 hours that guaranteed 48 hours and i ain't did nothing but told you what to do see that's what investing is all about guys listen i need you to get started today stop hesitating stop finding an excuse get started today right now 702-901-9128 text me i want to get started that's what i'm going to text me i want to get started email me ask dr elam at gmail.com a-s-k-d-r-e-l-a-m a is an anthem m is the money at gmail.com say i want to get started get started right now right now how do you think that my family and my friends because the first person i go off is family and friends because i love them like them trust them and know them some of y'all, I don't even know. I don't know you over there. I don't know you down there in the corner. But I'm encouraging you to get started. So you can call me, text me, tweet me, message me. I want to get started. And let's get started today. Let's get started right now. Right now. Hey, guys, listen. I'm Harold, the only internet guy. This is Investment Group Partners. This is uh, After the Bell Weekend Edition. Hallelujah. And these broadcasts are going to be coming to you every chance we get. Hopefully, we'll go viral. Hopefully, we'll encourage somebody to get started. I don't care what one person gets started. I just want you to get started so you can feed your family for the lifetime. Because I want to know the testimonies, man. Sister Shirley, man, God bless you. I hope you're listening. I hope you see this later on. She posted, man, her little cryptocurrency account. Man, and she has already made money in cryptocurrency. You hear me? One of the mothers of my church, man. Hallelujah. She don't, she don't care. She just posted her, her earnings. She's already made money that some people don't make all week long. In coins. Coins, you hear me? And she has access. If she needs to cash them out, she needs money, she needs groceries. She has a debit card because the debit card is linked to that account. And she can go shopping with her coins. And she ain't got to worry about her money. She ain't got to worry about no. She has investments that she can cash out right then and there. We teach you simplicity. Kiss. Keep it simple, saints. Guys, it's up to you. You, you can sit there and have the uh, crab mentality like most people have. And you can start pulling your sisters and brothers down. Or you can grab and run with the movement that we have in, 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 in this Christian financial wellness. We're exercising our money. Christian financial wellness. This is a wellness for you because you have to learn. It's a tool. It is a tool. And the only thing that we are teaching you is God has taught me how to be a good steward, a good, righteous, managing steward. And I'm sharing that information with you so you can help feed your family for a lifetime. Anyway, guys, listen, 
It's uh, After the Bell Weekend. This is the weekend edition. I'm Harold and the guy. I look forward to seeing you in the morning. Hey, have a happy Sunday.